Hi, I'm Corey Weathertown, Director of Product Development for the Jayco Motorhome Group, and I'm excited to show you today the brand new 2024 Jayco Greyhawk XL. You heard that right, Jayco Greyhawk XL. Uh, we are excited. We introduced this in August of 2023 at our dealer homecoming. I can tell you our dealers absolutely loved it. First of all, I want to tell you about the chassis. The chassis is a great chassis. A lot of the motorhome is a lot like the Greyhawk, but there will be some differences. So if you're familiar with the Greyhawk, um, I'll cover what some of those differences are, and one of those being the chassis. This is on the Ford F550 uh, 4x4 chassis. So it has a 6.7 liter diesel engine, 10-speed uh, transmission, and I know a lot of you folks in... Uh, say Central America, those more rural places, you love your diesel engines, um, and so we're giving you this diesel chassis. Diesels are great for towing, you get a lot more torque out of them. This will actually tow 12,000 pounds, so it's going to tow your larger boats, your larger cargo trailers, and then also uh, your car trailers as well. So it's a great chassis. We introduced this on our Seneca XT last year. Uh, that is on the F600 chassis, uh, but on this Greyhawk XL, we are on the 550 chassis. So Great chassis. Want to point out this front overhead cap. Um, it is traditional for us. It is the one piece seamless fiberglass front cap. So uh, on this unit, a lot of manufacturers have started copying us with this cap, no seams. Uh, we pioneered it because we know that uh, seams on a front cap, they are a future leak point. So we did uh, follow suit on this unit with what we have done traditionally on all of our class C's by giving you a one piece fiberglass front cap. You're gonna notice right off the bat that this is a partial paint unit. So uh, you can see all the gray on this unit, uh, this overhead, uh, this piece, and then down here going up is partial paint. Uh, the graphics package is standard on this, and you're going to look at it, and, and we are quite pleased with it because it does look like a full paint unit. So I want to point that out to you that as you see it is going to be as you get it. There's no uh, added cost to that. As we come down the coach, one of the things I love about this chassis and this Greyhawk XL is that uh, the frame rails are up higher off the ground. So as a result, Class C's traditionally struggle with storage. Now this unit's gonna be different because we are higher up off the ground. Our storage compartments are very reminiscent of a gas Class A to where we have large rotocast compartments. Uh, you're gonna see on this side, we have one, two, three, three large uh, storage compartments on this side of the coach. So as I said, traditionally Class C's, you're struggling, where am I gonna put my camp chair? Where am I gonna put a larger cooler? On this chassis, you are able to do it. So continuing down the side of this coach, we do have our exterior television here and entertainment center. A head unit, you are going to be able to Bluetooth to that as well as your outdoor speakers right at camp level. So uh, excited about that. As you see this, uh, this wheel and tire combo here, we are utilizing the Ford OE tires on this chassis, whereas our, our Seneca XT, we are changing that out to an all-terrain tire. This is the Ford OE tire on there. It happens to be a hand cook. A standard on this is gonna be matte black wheel liners like you're gonna see here but we do option matte black aluminum wheels as well. If you're interested in, in aluminum wheels, we can option that for you. This unit has very few options and that's gonna be one of them. Continuing down the side of the coach, you are gonna see our frameless windows. We do carry that over from our Greyhawk as well. Frameless windows are great. Your seals are protected from UV rays. They're not gonna de deteriorate over time and become a future leak point. And that's a big deal to us. Just like our front cap windows as well, that's one of the things that allows us to do that two year warranty plus three year structural is just the components we're putting on this coach. We have a confidence industry standard on this type of a motorhome is simply gonna be a one year warranty with a three year structural. Uh, we double that industry standard and give you a two year warranty. It is limited uh, by 24,000 miles or if you uh, uh, customer negligence as well. So wanted to point that out. It is a two year plus three uh, structural, twice the industry standard. Coming around the back, um, you are gonna see that we do have uh, our rear camera as well. This unit is gonna have side cameras as well. It has a 6,000 watt diesel generator. So that's gonna be incredible for you as the camper, not dealing with propane, not dealing with gasoline. Anytime you fill up your chassis, you're filling up your diesel generator as well. So 6,000 uh, quiet diesel generator. Uh, we have given you the best on this unit. So this is a brief look on the outside. Let's go inside the coach and talk about more.
Alrighty, so we're inside the Greyhawk XL now, and I'm going to tell you, I absolutely love the interior of this. You're going to wonder what floor plan this is. This is our 32U Greyhawk XL. Currently, it's our only floor plan. Uh, we do have plans in the future to come out with more, obviously. You can't have a motorhome series without multiple models. Uh, so, but this is our first one, the 32U. Want to point out some of the highlights on the inside of this unit. This is a 50 amp coach. And so with that 50 amp coach, you are getting a 2000 watt inverter as well. Um, your inverter, you're going to be able to um, utilize your, your uh, kitchen outlets. Uh, inverter is going to take your 12 volt battery essentially and turn it into 120 volt current. So that's what your inverter is going to be for. Uh, these are power theater seats. And so uh, you will have to have your inverter on to utilize these. Uh, we didn't want to really spare any expense. We didn't want to do manual here simply because in our Greyhawk, you're already getting power theater seats. That's new for this model year. So we wanted to put power theater seats in this unit as well. Uh, your front overhead bunk is going to be rated at 750 pounds, just like uh, the rest of our class C's are. We, the average in the industry is going to be in that 450 pound mark. Will 750 ever be up there? I don't know. But uh, there again, that's going to be one of the things that allows us to do that two year warranty. I feel like we over engineer a lot of things. In the front of the unit, in that front bunk, you will have your power window shade as well to block out the, U the sun and the UV rays. If you're, say, uh, camping down in Arizona or in the south, you want to keep this coach as cool as possible. You do have a power shade on that front window. Um, what I love about Jayco is that we're going to put a seat belt in every seating position. And so this dinette, by law, we're not required to put them in the rear-facing dinette, but we do put two seat belts there. We put two over here in the front facing two in the uh, theater seats here, and then two up front. So this coach will comfortably seat belt eight people. And so that's very important because you as a customer, let's say you buy Brand X and you don't have seat belts in that rear facing dinette, you could technically screw some seat belts, lag some seat belts into the floor, but at the same time, they've not been pull tested. The government requires us to, as we install these, make sure they uh, withstand, if it's a single seat belt, withstand uh, 10,000 pounds of uh, pull or force for 60 seconds. Um, excuse me, 10,000, that's for two seat belts, five for one seat belt. So we are uh, meeting the government standards on seat belts. So with a Jayco, seat belts are going to be standard in every seating position. Uh, you will see in this coach that uh, that we do have our, our Huntington cabinetry inside of here. Uh, this is a maple hardwood door, and, and we're very excited about how that turned out. If you are going to be utilizing, uh, say, satellite at your campsite, you will have coax cable connections up in this cabinet specifically. But you will notice that uh, we have a lot of overhead cabinet space here. We intentionally don't put a divider in here in case you want to put longer items in here. You can uh, span a couple of these doors if you like. Something I do like to point out is we do have two metal struts in these larger overhead cabinet doors. That's significant because our goal is to be the quietest riding, best handling motorhome at each price point. And so if, if this coach is going down the road and you're getting cabinet rattle, we're not really fulfilling what we desired. And so with this unit, uh, we do put the two metal struts. That way it's holding them shut. Say you take a corner a little bit sharp, you're not going to have to worry about things sliding out onto your floor there. Um, so if we come back further into the coach, you'll see overhead we have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump in it. And this unit does have dual AC. So in the rear, you are 13.5. So I wanted to point that out to you, the customer. And then we have a large 15 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator back here. For this model year, where residential um, refrigerators are not standard, we did change away from gas electric to 12 volt simply because 12 volt, you already have it on board. Um, sometimes you, you don't have propane on board, so you're having to run off of electricity. It is amazing how quickly these units cool. What I love about the 12 volt is just how quickly they cool. So you are gonna see a side-by-side -side refrigerator here. There is a lot of storage inside of here, a lot of freezer space. So as you're out camping, there's gonna be enough room for everything, absolutely everything that you need. And then an overhead lock here to hold it closed while you're in transit. This uh, 32U kitchen area, uh, we do have a gunmetal sink as well as a gunmetal faucet. Gunmetal is the finish. We're not using true gunmetal. I wanted to point that out. And then uh, overhead, we have a residential size microwave 
and then we actually have your cooktop and oven down below. Uh, this unit does have a countertop extension as well. Nice thing about this is when I do uh, get my 15 uh, cubic foot reefer in this, I still get a pantry. And so I have an uh, overhead pantry and then the lower pantry. So in this, we are sliding it all out to you. Your cans of soup, your boxes of cereal, your bags of rice, everything's coming to you versus having to, to reach in deep into, say, a shelf that goes 18 to 20 inches deep. So we're bringing it out to you. And I love that about that unit. Uh, this unit, our engineers did a great job with that. You're going to notice that this is controlled by the Firefly Multiplex system. And so this is a whole house control. I can download an app to my phone. I can be sitting out at the campsite. I can control my lights on the inside. I can control my HVAC um, from sitting outside at the campfire. So this is a great unit. We use it on a lot of our products and it's very trustworthy. It's done very well for us over the years. Coming back into say the bathroom area, uh, we're gonna get to the bedroom here in a moment. You will notice that inside of this unit, there is a spacious bathroom. What I love about uh, our interior decor is rather than um, if we're using gunmetal in different locations, rather than sticking a stainless steel shower in there, uh, we do have uh, the matte black uh, aluminum rails around it. I think our, our decor folks did a great job of blending everything together. Inside of this uh, wardrobe, we do have shelving, but then also I can remove the shelving if I want to use my overhead uh, closet rods and then plenty of storage down below. So some full length drawers here on uh, metal, uh, metal glides with uh, metal ball bearings in it. And then as we come back further into the bedroom, a large wardrobe in the rear. So what I love there again about this 32U is I have unlimited hanging space in this. I say unlimited, some of you may say it's limited. It is limited technically, but the amount of space, I would say it's unlimited. A lot of hang up space in this. Uh, this ladder, a classical ladder is gonna be our front for our front overhead bunk. We've got um, chest of drawers down below and then more hanging space on the opposite side. Uh, on top of this uh, bed, you will see very large overheads. Um, I've, as I look at these, I feel like they're larger than they normally are in our other units. I could be way off. Um, take a look for yourself. I do think that these are very spacious compared to what we normally provide. A lot of storage overhead. Both sides of your nightstand, you do have wireless charging as well as a USB port and then your overhead reading lights. I like to point this out. A lot of folks don't know. Um, I can turn it on with one push of a button. It turns blue, kind of a, a night light, mood lighting. I push and hold and there I get my, my reading light there. Common question will come up in this floor plan. Uh, is this a hinged bed? This is a hinged mattress. And so in order to uh, bring your slide in, I will have to flip the bottom third of my bed over and then bring my slide in at that point. We do have a, a dual pocket door here that will close off your bedroom area from your main living area. That way, as one of you guys are having coffee in the morning in, in your power theater seat, uh, someone can be sleeping in if they want to or uh, getting around in the shower without um, having to feel like they're exposed. Total privacy there. So this unit does have 200 watts of solar on the roof. It does have a WineGuard 2.0 Connect, uh, 4G LTE, and then uh, also a Wi-Fi range extender. So that's gonna be a nice feature for you. When you're at the campgrounds, you're far away from that, uh, so that uh, Wi-Fi signal, it'll grab it, intensify it, and it'll amplify it into this coach. So as I mentioned, this is a brand new 2024 Greyhawk XL 32U. Super excited about this. It allows somebody to get into the, it's technically the Super C market. I kind of feel dirty saying the Super C market simply because our Super Cs have traditionally been on the Freightliner chassis, and that is a true Super C. But I know this is classified as a Super C, so it allows us to get into the Super C market at a relatively affordable price compared to, say, our Seneca XT or our standard Seneca or Seneca Prestige. Uh, this is a this is a, a lower priced unit for sure. So if you have questions, contact your local dealer. They'd love to answer those for you. If you have more technical questions, feel free to browse our website. We have um, the standards and options in that. It should include tank sizes as well. If you have even more technical questions than that, contact us at Jayco, call the 800 number. They'll connect you with the regional sales manager who's responsible for the state or province you're cut from, and they'd love to answer any question you have. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton, product director here at Jayco Motorhomes, and thanks for watching this video.